New York might not exactly be Napa Valley, California in terms of servicing its own files, but there are still plenty of places to go to make your very own Cabernet Sauvignon or Pinot Noir. I love wine. I think it's great that it's local. I mean, that makes it even better. So, so yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> the newest addition is Brooklyn Winery, which just opened in October in Williamsburg. And people have already started designing and making their own wine. We were very excited when he, when he opened this up, and we were you know, one of the first customers to sign up. Jason and Dina Feintuck started destemming today. We sort of have to trust the process and trust the expert in this case, which, who is Connor and, you know, Brian and John. This is a destemmer crusher, first step in the process. You put all the whole uh, grape clusters in here and it separates each grape from all of the stems. The majority of our grapes are coming from Sonoma in California, but we are getting Riesling and Chardonnay from the Finger Lakes in New York and we're getting some Merlot and Cab Franc from uh, the North Fork of Long Island. After the grapes are destemmed, they're put in a grape press and then in giant vats where they are kept for about a week. And what Greg's doing is he's actually punching down the, uh, the cap on the fermenting, uh, the fermenting grapes. Mm -hmm. So he does that to basically help um, keep the, 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 the cap, the dried grapes that, that flow up tight, help keep them uh, uh, moist, basically. At this point, if you were to put your hand close to the grapes, they're slightly warm. And if you eat a handful or so, you might get a little tipsy. One handful is about the equivalent of a glass of wine. Then it is put in barrels where it waits. Now, what has been the most surprising or interesting part of the process so far? I think just seeing the sort of the, the nitty gritty details of how you actually go from, you know, the grapes that we just saw to all of a sudden what gets into the, you know, into the barrel and then ultimately into the bottle that, you know, you drink at your table. After making dozens of barrels, Connor, the winemaker, blends all the leftovers together into a batch he calls Super Booty. Uh, so it's generally a red wine blend. Sometimes I'll even put a little bit of Chardonnay there um, just to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the most interesting one I had was, uh, was a Zinfandel, Petit Syrah, Carignan, and Nebbiolo. Uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty ballsy wine. When it's finished, the Super Booty will, if it's any good, be served in Brooklyn Winery's wine bar. Of course, having just opened, Brooklyn Winery hasn't finished any of their own vintages yet, but they've got an excellent collection of wines from other wineries. Yep, I just walked by, saw a sign, and I love wine, so <laughs> it came in. <laughs> For nypost.com, I'm Max Gross. Cheers. Yeah, we're going to be in a chat on our draft. Very cool.